Hello, I'm going to present you Cubelink. It's a small game that I made in Unity, inspired on the popular flow type games on the internet. It's similar to 3D logic and flow free. But the difference is, in my game you can rotate around the whole cube, so it adds like a whole layer of depth to the puzzles. So every time you clear a level, he unlocks the next level and he keeps track of your time. So if you go to the menu and you go to level select, you can look at your previous times and you can keep trying to do uh, to make them better. Uh, also the level selection and the whole user interface is completely resolution independent. So if you for example play it on a widescreen it will look like this. He calculates how many tiles he can show on one page and then you have to click to go to the next page. And uh, if you go to the menu there are also options so you can choose how loud the sound should play. You can do the same for the music. You can choose the opacity for the user interface and you can do some additional features. Uh, for now I'll put the music off. So the additional features are lock, safe connect and color feedback. I'll show this one later. So if you lock a color, so first let me select blue. If I lock blue, you can't paint blue anymore. But you can also can't paint on blue anymore. So this is to make sure if you connected a color and you think, hey this is good and I don't accidentally want to override it, I lock it. Uh, but uh, if it's not good, <laughs> yeah, then you have to unlock it, of course. So like this. Safe connect, that's um, to make sure all, all your things are correctly connected. Like if you move your mouse really fast, sometimes it's possible that he skips a cell. And safe connect won't let you connect if there's nothing next to it. So um, if the same color is not in uh, an adjacent tile, then you can't connect it. So here it go. It works because the neighbor is also blue, but here it doesn't work. So you first have to do like this. Um, the credits. Yeah, you can take a look at these. So I made the game, and the music is from free music from the internet. But I have to put credits for him. E R H. Um, beta testers and um, the guy who gave me some tips. Um, you can also reset. Okay, let me show the level editor for now. So uh, if I go to menu, um, Okay, welcome. This is the level editor. So the level editor allows me to easily make new levels. So uh, I can load levels that I made. Uh, so these are all the current levels. Or I can make new levels. So uh, if I, for example, want a 6 cube, I put 6 in here. I can use the buttons or I can input a number click create cube and he will make an empty cube for me. Then um, I can put tiles on it. So for example if this is the path I want the player to make then um, I draw the path and then I select four stars and he will calculate where the source should be put. Um, so I put some other colors on it. Again, for source. He also automatically does it when I. Uh, oops, another color. Yeah, but uh, the recording it's a little bit laggy, so it's a bit slower than it should be. That doesn't matter. So if I generate string, then he will generate a number code, and in here he stores which style has which color, and also which color palette I'm using. You can use the various color palettes 
Uh, I still have a few left. So like I have a gold one, I have uh, different colors, also different colors. And I also have a warm one. So um, if you saw the, if you saw me chasing the color palette, you also see that the buttons change, their name change, everything adapts to the current palette. Um, I can also load a string here. So if I input a string here, I can click load string and it will load the string. So let me generate a string. Oh, there's an error in the level. And that's because these ones are not properly connected, so he automatically knows if it's not a good level. That's uh, quite good for me, because if I make like a mistake and I click generate level and put it in the game, then I need a lot of beta testing and then suddenly some guy says, hey, this doesn't work. And this saves me all that trouble. Of course, the difficulty of level design is um, when you do play, Sometimes, like if I want the user to do like, like this. Sometimes he doesn't do this, but he for example does this. And most of the time it's okay because then he's stuck, but sometimes he's not stuck and then he can go around a bit. And um, to counter that a bit, I have uh, the black tiles. So. Uh, then I place like a few black ones to make sure he he has to go in a certain way. And uh, that's the most difficult part of level design. Also the fact that you can go around the cube is um, really difficult to, to create levels because then sometimes you can cheat by going around the cube so you have to make sure it's all in the correct position. It's uh, quite a challenge but it's fun. Um, yeah, you can also hide the level editor, um, reset rotations, default camera position, and then when I create level, so let me, I can also a uh, middle mouse button and I select the color that I click on. So it's let me it enables me to make levels quickly and quickly do some stuff. This should be correct, I think, yeah. Okay, so this level works. So let me put it in level, in an empty level. I think level 20 is empty. So... So now I will put this train in level 23. Now when I hide the and now when I hide the level creator and I go to level twenty three go to the menu, level select. Level 23. Um, I think it's 23. Let me check. Yeah, 23. And then uh, I'll quickly unlock it. I'll cheat a bit. see this is my level that I made so it's really easy to create levels I can also add levels without worrying about the level selection menu he automatically calculates the position for me and the only thing I have to do is add the little numbers in an array and uh, that makes it really easy for me so thank you for watching I hope it was interesting and uh, I hope you enjoy my game. Goodbye.